Hello everybody, my name is Isaiah and I have a special video for you today. Uh, in front of me I have my personal Gigabyte GTX 1070 and an EK water block. So what I'm going to do is kind of give a speed video of me disassembling this video card and installing this water block. <laughs> Okay, so before I actually do take apart this video card, uh, I want to let people know that there is different models uh, and different water blocks for each uh, custom PCB. Even the Founders Edition has its own uh, water block for it. So definitely before you go out and just buy um, a custom PCB card, kind of like this one where it's a Gigabyte one, uh, make sure that you can buy a water block for it if that's the route you want to go. Now, I know a lot of people don't think about it ahead of time. They gotta buy a video card and they, they like it, but in the future they wanna water cool it. But if you think that's gonna be in your future or you already have a custom loop and you want to get another video card, um, make sure that you have the correct water block for your video card and make sure they actually make them. All right, here you see a time-lapse video that's about 25 minutes long, sped up. And uh, I'm gonna kinda of give you an overview of what I was doing, what I was thinking. I don't really have much time to say every word I want to, but I'm going to get a few things across. So, a few of my struggles was uh, basically getting these fans off. Now, you think it'd be really simple, but sometimes you have to kind of be really delicate with them. You really don't want to yank on them because if you ever put it back together, you have a bad fan, bad connector, uh, you know, warranties, voided, and whatnot. And so I really spent a long time uh, messing with that, even paused the video to get the last fan off. Now, you always want to go slow on those things because they can cause issues. Next thing you want to do is make sure you read all the manual because I didn't realize I was supposed to take the back plate off until I was already ready to put the thermal pads on. Here I'm putting the thermal pads on. Once again, make sure you read that manual because they're all different. Some tell you to put thermal paste on, little pads. Other times they just tell you to put the pads on directly, make sure you have the right size pad because they're different thicknesses. Now here I am, I'm actually not following the instructions, I'm making the pads just the right size because I don't like the blue sticking over. I thought it would be a little ugly if you could see the blue sticking out of the card. So I cut each pad down to the right size just to fit perfectly on there. All right, so I got the pads on. Now I'm putting the thermal paste on, and it's a lot of thermal paste, but that's actually what EK wants you to do. They want you to cover the whole thing. It's not thermally conductive, so it's not an issue. All right, so I'm putting all the screws in, and I actually had a major mistake. Usually you're supposed to put the video card down, sorry, the water block down, and then put the video card on top of it, and then screw everything in. I did the opposite and I found out that the screws actually don't line up and this is what I'm complaining about. I'm complaining about how the screws holes don't really line up and I ended up redoing it like three times. I pulled the block off, put it back down and realized the amateur mistake I did. Uh, it's not the first water cooling video card I've done uh, but it's the first time I actually put the block on the wrong way. Alright, so here is the video card in installed. Uh, and you see this is my computer currently. I'm actually working on it right now Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up Make sure you subscribe to overclockersclub.com YouTube channel and as always thank you for watching